okay, the third point is that she only cares about Sasuke. And okay, this has good arguments to it because she even broke up with her best friend Ino over Sasuke because they both liked Sasuke. And everyone is like, this is a bitch because bitches be doing that in real life too. <laughs> that, is, that is true. <laughs> that is true. I mean, but to be fair, and I think Joe can expand on this one though. Like, to be fair, when you say she only cares about Sasuke, if you go to the tuning exams, and that's before chapter 40. So if you go to the tuning exams, like you get to this moment where they have the written test and Sakura is getting ready to raise her hand to forfeit for Team 7 because she doesn't want Naruto's Hokage dream to fail. Like, Joe, you can take it from there. Yeah, 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 I can. So, I mean, yes, Naruto's about to fail his test and she was actually willing to forfeit her exam just so she could stay with him and support his dream. And then we also have the fact that when Naruto was fighting people in his, you know, tuning exam matches, she was always cheering for him. Mm -hmm. And to say she only cares about Sasuke is just nonsensical. Let's not forget that her main drive was to save the both of them. Mm -hmm. And the main reason why she went to go train with Tsunade is because she wasn't strong enough to help Naruto fight Sasuke. That's chapter so 237. she wanted to be there to help him. Wow, right. my man's saying chapter numbers and shit. What the hell? <laughs> That's chapter 237. That's chapter 237, man. Like, it's 236 when, I think it's when uh, they find out that Choji's okay. 237, Sakura goes in to speak with Tsunade and uh, Jiraiya's talking to Naruto. And like Joe said, she goes to speak to Tsunade. Chapter 238, that's when that three-month time skip happens. And Sakura's been progressing on medical ninjutsu. And it's because she wants to help Naruto when they go to save Sasuke. Because she broke. Mm -hmm. She was about to yeah, break when right. she saw Naruto in the hospital. Yeah, and, yeah, and you're right. Whole... She loves Naruto so much. It's so mm -hmm. obvious because you remember when, when he was training the Rasen Shuriken. I don't know if this was added filler scene. but Because this scene was so sick. Sai goes up to Sakura. And because Sai's so inept in social, um, like how to socialize. She, she was cussing out Naruto, saying, oh, he's trash, he's never going to become a Kage anyway. And Sakura gets so pissed, she's like, punches the tree, and she says, if you ever say one more thing, I'm going to kill you right here. Yep, and she was yep. defending Naruto. She was like, y you better not say anything bad about him um, one more time. And then Sai was like, oh, shit, I was only testing you about your true feelings about him. So she, she, he just exposed that she loves him so much, isn't it? She yeah. just assumed it. She just assumed it. I'm pretty sure that was filler because I don't remember reading that in the manga. I might be mistaken. Oh, shit. That was a good scene, Ian. You need to see that. Yeah, I want to say that was anime filler because, like I said, I, I remember Seriously. the scene, but I don't think I remember reading that in the manga. Yeah, same here. That's when he made the, uh, you know, the umbrella made of ink, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's the so waterfall training. Because, like, the waterfall training yeah. should be, like, in volume 36 because that's when Asma dies. Oh, so it must have been a filler, because as I said, I watched anime more. Than... But that was a good scene, man. Yeah, yeah so I remember, I remember that one, because when I was on Naruto base, people would point that out when they're making the, like, passionate arguments about Naru Sakuru versus Naru Hina, and that's one of the ones people would point to. It's like, because you around that time you had the Yamato line, that, that was in the manga, that Sakura can look at you and tell just how deeply you care for Naruto, you really mm -hmm. think it's cut off, and then you have that scene there. Like, that's, those came out really really close really close together so i can kind of see why people were using it as a point but like i said i don't think that was a manga but that was a good that was a good ass scene because she she crushes like the bark when she because she's getting that pissed off at yeah mm -hmm. that was so badass man i love that and she um, cares. and you know what come on man she's the one that hugged um naruto in front of everyone when everyone wanted his d after he beat pain Mm -hmm. But Naruto was like, nah, this is my thing. I'm going to have good soccer. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and, and, and on that, on that, and see, Adil, I know you do, uh, you go on more of a deep dive than I do. You talk about the lore and some of the stuff with the culture and everything. Like, if I'm not mistaken, because I've talked to Joe about this in private, if I'm not mistaken, you know, that whole thing was showing affection and everything. If you go back to that panel, when Sakura goes up and hugs Naruto, you got people looking away like they're intruding on a private moment. Yeah, you're right, you're mm -hmm. right. Isn't there Sakura a Japanese blushes culture? a little, man. Yeah. And that yeah. one just in the anime, that's in the manga. I mean, she's been blushing around Naruto since part one. She's had moments where she does that. Yeah, that was good. That was a good scene. And then about the whole Eno thing, they became rivals over Sasuke, but they never actually stopped being friends per se. I mean, they still cared about each other. 
they're just at each other's you know throats all the time but they actually were still somewhat friends i mean they still were somewhat friendly to one another one another yeah family. but another another point is right i think the people that say like she only cares about sasuke she's a bitch i think yeah they probably haven't experienced love or something like they haven't yeah. had that feeling because I don't know why you would say that because you have to put it into that perspective that she's in love with this guy and when you when you're in love with them it's like it's something uncontrollable she's obviously gonna act in that way so I don't know man no hey no I I, I do agree with that and the other thing is it's like salty virgin uh, comments withstanding like when it comes to love like it's one of those things where it, it's it's really hard to define especially when you got somebody like Sakura who for as much outspoken she is she's still that insecure little girl that Eno met she's still that that mm -hmm. character that she doesn't is. fully express herself well mm -hmm. she's yeah. just a sundere she's just a sundere